what's up everybody welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new here my name is elise if you're not new here then hey family how you doing so clearly <laughs> clearly we have picked up right where we left off um gianna is pregnant if you haven't watched the rest of the let's play be sure to do so but gianna is pregnant she is um very unhappy she's very sad she don't feel good you know first trimester things so we just gonna get right into it we already told andre he took it pretty well but you know we still have a lot to do we're pregnant for nine days in the game so we're on day one of trimester one but at some point i do want her to tell her family so today's episode i think we're going to go to the OBGYN, tell our family and then we'll see what else happens. But those are two main goals. And we really want to come to terms because she is not, she's very tense. She did not want to have a child. She's not happy. And I'm just hoping that as time progresses, she can kind of like be okay with it. So first things first, she is hungry. So I'm going to have her just fill up Buster's bowl. Yeah, so we're gonna have her do. And then we need to do some spring cleaning of our own. So I'm gonna have her clean out the empty food. And then let's see what we can eat because she is hungry. Ispa, Mohanya. We can eat. It's like lunchtime. Do we have any snacks? What is she getting? Let's just clean it out. Let's see. Appetizers. I don't know what none of that is. I need to put the insignia thing down so that we can actually like buy the insignia snacks. But it's cool. Snacks. Oh, she's getting a hot pepper. That's cool too. A hot pepper is fine. I mean, not a hot pepper, a bell pepper. Um, uh, that's fine. She can eat her little stuffed bell peppers. But they look good. Where are we sitting? Okay. I think while we're here, we need to just update our fans. We're not going to tell the fans we're pregnant, obviously. But just post on social media. You know. I'm trying to remember. We don't have a job right now. I completely forgot we don't have a job. So we need to also... Where are you going? Diola! Come on, girl. Eat this food. <laughs> oh, Buster ate all his food. But yeah, I think we're gonna go oh, get an ultrasound first today goodness. because I feel like she's kind of like this can't be true. You know how you gotta you gotta make sure. This is our brother. Mm, we can't come over today. We'll come over later. She's scared to tell her family. But yeah, we're gonna get the ultrasound because she's just like saying it ain't so. So we need to go get proof. And I feel her. We need proof. So I, I'm trying to think. Should we invite Andre back over? Maybe we should invite him back over. I'm gonna have her change her outfit though. We should invite him back over. Because I think there's something that I have to do to make him like the person that comes to all the appointments. I'm almost positive. So, let's invite him back over. Oh, he's here. Oh, he need a little coffee. Okay, well. Let's just come talk to him. She gotta go all the way over here to talk to him, but that's fine. Let's say that, like, she texts him and he's like, oh, well, I'm actually in the in the neighborhood. And she's like, here I come. You know? Ah, okay, so, so she did change her outfit. It's very cute. The little bump, you can barely see the little bump, but we know it's a little bump. So, can Kubu Koiba? <laughs> so let's see if there's something I, I could say to him to make him accompany us. They're still on really good terms, too. Like, nothing has changed between the two of them. They're just having a baby. 
but I'm trying to find ask to accompany to childbirth. I wonder if that's what we oh, need to do. Dad. Let you come with us to the Kalang and Sula. Kinnick. <laughs> oh, What's all of this? We're not even talking to him. Of course you're gonna be there to support us. I'm trying to figure out who she's holding. I think she's holding okay, whatever. Ignore that. Crack. Uh, Oh, here comes him. That's why she got mad. Channing's right there. So let's go ahead and call the OBGYN. I know this much. Call the OBGYN. We still got our food. Mabish, Bossamo. Uchi Pichi, Moscalba. Miss Herb. She's so upset. Not no fresh. Lick la shippe. Ah, oh, souffle. Oh. Don't be swab. That's not zil nape. Look, she's so just not happy. Uh. She's so upset. Not And she don't like how he dressed. <laughs> Can we stop eating and call the doctor? Look, he leaving. Oh. That's not what I was told. I want to get an ultrasound. And I'm going to read it. It's kind of long, but I'm going to read it because this is still a fairly new mod. So if you haven't updated the Panda Sama realistic birth mod, I'm going to just kind of like do like a mini review as the series progresses. So it says an, a pregnancy ultrasound appointment is a routine medical exam that is performed during pregnancy to assess the health and development of the fetus. Ultrasounds use high frequency sound waves to create images of the inside of the body. During a pregnancy ultrasound, the technician will use a device called a transducer to transmit the sound waves through your sim's abdomen, creating a live image of the fetus on the monitor. The appointment usually takes about 30 minutes to an hour and is often done in the first trimester and again in the second trimester so let's go okay so we made it here with andre and the first thing that we have to do now that we're at the hospital is put down the the whatchamacallit the ultrasound machine so you just have to enable the cheat bb dot enable free build and it's enabled i'm also going to do one more cheat just in case i'm going to do the the move objects cheat so that's on go right into build mode we're going to just take one of these out and it should be in the medical clinic items just scroll down and it's right here right here the ultrasound machine just pop that sucker. I do need to move this over. So we're just gonna take this out. Forget it. Let's just put this right in the middle of the room. Boom. So now I'm also, so everything is set up. So I think you just click on this. What's ultrasound preference? Let's see. I don't know. But none of this yet. Let's find out the gender. I don't I mean not the gender. Let's find out the gender because I don't like surprises. And this is still technically kind of realistic because you can't find out the gender of your child in the first trimester through a blood test, which is what I did. Because tell me tell me right now, boy or girl. I mean no. So we gonna find out the gender. And we're gonna start the scan. We're gonna mm, let's go with our good sis right here. I like her hair. It's cute. Where's Andre going? He better he better bring it back. He not he not doing too good right now. He is not doing too good right now. He needs to bring it back. Time I got time for you to wanna be a, a deadbeat. 
just as things are, you know, going good. Okay, so he's already there. As he should be. Oh, not her being the front desk girl. Home array. <laughs> Andre is trying to leave. Uh, he needs to just stay here. I'm not understanding why he wanna leave so bad. Bob Saney. He's gonna ruin this for us. If he keeps trying to walk away. Uh-uh, uh-uh. No goodbye. He's talking about he's sleepy. Can he watch the ultrasound? Ask the paternity test. Mm -mm. I'm trying to see if we can get him to watch. Oh, he get fame from being with us? Mm, that's sick. Just compliment her appearance. Bix. But you know what? We don't need him for this part. If he want to be a sim, let him be a sim. She mad. She can't believe he acting like this. Ooh, Miss Dinapom. Binosa Batanabe? Zapula. Oh, there he goes. Yes, you bow. Look at the baby. This is so realistic. Not her saying, "Oh, you didn't even want the baby." Who's <laughs> I'm getting all these pigs. Wadida Ibbotson. Finna growl. Quiff Trying to the angle. Fiend Napsa. Uh huh. Gulp of Vipin. He like, wow, it's a baby in her belly. Sapoma. <laughs> And boom, and now he's gone. Yeah, Rob, Yana Sedge. Gurgadon and Blippa. It's a girl, and it's just one kid. So, heaven is on, you know, God is on our side because with the new thing coming out, oh, can we poke? Can you see it? Oh. That is so cute, y'all. We having a baby. Our girl is having a baby. Let's see. Does she get any, like, mood lit? Oh, no. It says, okay, unwanted baby from ultrasound scan. Seeing the image of her baby on the ultrasound scan is leaving Elise feeling overwhelmed, confused, and uncertain about what to do. Part of her feels guilty and ashamed for not wanting children. It's important that Elise takes the time to process her emotions and consider all of her options. After all, her decision will impact her life. She must take care of herself and her emotional well-being in order to navigate this difficult decision. Oh, already in love. Oh. He's in love and she is not. Wow. It says Andre is overwhelmed with joy and excitement when he saw the little life growing inside his partner appearing on the screen. In that moment, he felt an immediate sense of responsibility and protectiveness towards his unborn child. The reality of becoming a parent is becoming more and more real. Well, we just got to work on our, our girl, okay? We have to work on Elise. So that's what we're gonna do. We are going to work on Elise. Okay, so we made it home. Oh, uh, uh. girl, what? You think Raj is fine? That's just the hormones. That gotta be the hormones talking. Okay, so it's six thirty. Um, I think that we're gonna stay home for today. And then tomorrow we're gonna tell we're gonna tell um our parents. Our family really, because it's our brother and everything. But we're just gonna stay home today. She's so sick. Oopa, Whibney. Let's look at her needs. She's doing pretty good with her needs.
I wonder if there is anything we can do to work on not wanting this baby. What is Buster doing? He don't want to be bothered? Whatever. Let's go to the bathroom. Since Buster don't want to deal with this. And then let's see. Let's go to the computer. And let's see if there's anything that she can do. To come to terms with what's, you know, what's happening right now. Let's see. Plan desperately need a vacation. I hear you, sis. But we gotta we gotta figure some stuff out first. Okay, we're gonna research pregnancy and parenting tips because maybe she she's so upset because she's like, How am I supposed to be a mom? I don't even know what that requires. Like what? Huh. So that's a good first step. I hate that all this stuff is just staying up on the wall. Oh, wait. No, we're not going to JF and Clothers. Okay, so she's not even really paying attention. Girl, let's see what we could do. And then let's see if there's anything else we could do. Uh, because we can't yes. be hating this baby before the baby even comes. Maybe tomorrow we can go to a counseling class. Yeah, that's what you could do. Did that help at all? Okay, it helped a little bit. I don't think she wants to be around Andre right now because I don't know. I just don't think she really wants that right now. I think she needs to be alone, deal with this by herself. So we're just gonna air fry some food, call it a night, maybe take a nice little bath. Mm, what should we do? Jumbo shrimp? We should do some jumbo shrimp. You know, we have a lot to do, but today we've done enough. That's how I think we feel. Okay, so she's eating. Where's Buster? He needs to come on in here. Why he like being outside so much? Slack him. Come to mama. There goes Buster. We haven't even talked to him all day. Us complain. You know, first and foremost. Gotta get it out. And then let's Feel the love. We need some loving. Loinem wibos a pendola fenuza flurbis rolspa ularb. Oh, there he goes. Sparba de roy. That's probably like, what is that going on? In a this house? Okay, so we're gonna call it a night pretty early because tomorrow morning we have to, you know, make the long trip down to Oasis Springs to go talk to our family. Oh, very sad. Very sad. Not ready for this from pregnancy. Sometimes the torturous nature of being pregnant at a time when you don't want a child hits you like a train. <laughs> this is so depressing. Unwanted baby. Morning sickness. Um, She's still upset about the unwanted child. But we're almost to our second trimester, so we need to figure this out. Okay? So we're going to wake up and throw up. <laughs> I mean, because that's what pregnant people do. I never threw up when I was pregnant, though. No. Oh, oh my God. 
it's gonna be okay i hope oh she ran into the bathroom that's so nasty girl now you gotta clean it we need to just when is andre gonna come over and take care of us like for real Cause we go into trimester two like very soon. But yeah, we're just gonna do this and then we need to shower. Just get ready to go to our parents' house, honestly. Take a quick shower. It's only four in the morning. So we have plenty of time to get there early because I do want to get there early and then I do want her to end the day off maybe going to counseling or just going to talk to andre about everything that's been going on because we need to make her okay with being pregnant and she's not right now so oh my gosh she's crying in the shower i can't take this this is emotional y'all she's just not happy we're getting ready to make us a a good old smoothie what kind are we making? Uh, Acai. That sounds good. Forth. Let me see. Is she poking? Oh, she's definitely poking. The belly is definitely poking. Oh, uh, Let's fill his bow. Bossamo. Oh. Hmm. Bossamo. Oh. Okay, so it's six in the morning. We have Phil Buster's bowl. And we're about to just make a quick little social media post because we have to keep our fame up. And we're going to head to our parents. So I'll see you when we get to our parents' house in Oasis Springs. Okay. So... We're here in Oasis Springs. We're at our mom and dad's house. Let me see if I can do this. I'm not going to give you a tour because I did not decorate this house. But this is their house. Super cute, modern home. But yeah, I'm not going to give you a tour because I don't really decorate. Uh, I didn't decorate their house, so it's nothing uh, to really show. But let's go and say hi to our mom and dad. Okay, let me knock some of these. Some of these walls down. Where are they? That's the question. Where are our parents? Oh, here's our dad. Oh, where's our mom? They have a nice little house. They got a pool. Oh, she's on a grill. Okay, girl. Let me introduce you guys to our parents. Okay, so this is Walter Young. This is our dad. He's an elder. Um, I don't know. He's just really cute. They don't work right now, both our parents. Both of my parents. Both of our parents do not work right now. They are, you know, they're old. And I made them an elder because she has older siblings. So it wouldn't make sense for them to be just an adult like they're older and then this is michelle young this is our mom she's just a cute little girl she's even though she's older she's still trendy she keeps her she keeps her looks up like and her and our dad they just live happily ever after in this nice little house this is where we grew up this is our family home here's our brother's room here's our room from childhood so like this is this is Elise's, like, this is where she's from, okay? Well, let's say hi to our dad first. We haven't seen them in a while, too, so let's just go give dad a hug. Can I give him a hug? Mm-hmm. 
What is he watching the news? Kubeba. Ogumoiba. Ayuya. Yeah. Look how he's like, what's wrong with you? I don't think I want her to tell him until she can tell both her parents. So we're gonna tell her mom first, obviously, because that's her mom. So I wanted to kind of like get them to like all sit down. So I'm gonna make a group. And now we're gonna come say hi to our mom. Oh, she didn't came in the house, she didn't make the food. They didn't know we were coming. They were disappointed that we didn't come yesterday. So they still have the, the table set from yesterday's barbecue. But we're gonna call our mom over. Yeah, because we need to we need to talk to them. This is serious. Please don't go crying. And I think we still have to tell them individually, though, that we're pregnant. But let's see how we do that with the new, um, the new thing. Pregnancy. I think it's in friendly. Okay, we're going to tell our parents we're pregnant. It says share pregnancy news. Fran Ho Hibani. Jenja Fazar. Her dad is like, let me get y'all some time. Look at how sad she is. Let me zoom in. Oh, oh this is too cute. You know, I gotta get my pics. See? Uh -huh. Yes. Uh -huh. oh, our mom is happy for uh -huh. us. Let's see. Garsha. <gasps> oh goodness. Oh <laughs> good. If that wasn't dramatic, I don't know what is. They just both start crying. Let's see what we can say to our mom. Look at our little bump. It's coming. Let's complain about problems. And let's also, let me see. Express feelings about yes. abortion. <laughs> I mean, about pregnancy. Kira. Lonely. Never. I feel like maybe her talking about it it'll help her like get it out, you know. Schmazel. Garza. Franga Gwis, Dance Doba, Shribna. Huh? Tunga choosing. She's like, I don't even know this guy for more than a month, Mom. How am I pregnant already? Arim Boya. Mefite Nebris. Gloss. Let's see, did she get any mullets? No, nothing has changed. So, oh, we're, we're nothing has changed. Let's tell our dad now. Let's tell our dad that we're pregnant. I think he'll be happy too. Oh, we could share pregnancy and certitude. We could do that after we tell him. Because I feel like maybe our dad won't take it that well because he's like, who is this guy that has knocked my daughter up? You know what I'm saying? That's what I want to know. He like why y'all all emotional? That's why he can make a new room. Oh, a bright. Her and her dad look so much alike. Oh, right. Yeah, okay. Ah. Ah. 
Oh, happy though. <laughs> that was a very comforting oh, hug. Not to tell him that it's not wanted. <laughs> oh, come. She just like, y'all, what am I supposed to do? <laughs> but she's definitely a daddy's girl, so we should definitely I want to know if we can talk to them about like how to fix it. You know what I'm saying? Like, how do we fix this? Share pregnancy and certitude. Let's do that. She's like, I just don't know. But her parents raised her to take care of her business and, you know, do her consequences. Still thinking. At least. Oh, this came from the witch call it the um insert too. It says Elise seemed to be happy and excited about this pregnancy, but she starts to starts feeling not sure about it anymore and seems to be scared to become a parent super soon. So I think maybe telling her parents was exciting, but Elf she's like, But I still don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> so they're just talking. And she's really just like, I'm just coming over here to chit chat. But she has to tell her, she has to tell her brother and his family. But we're just going to talk to our parents a little bit more. I'm glad you guys got to meet her parents, but this is not how I wanted y'all to meet them. That's what's crazy. This is not how I thought this was going to go. But we need to tell our parents about Andre because they need to meet him before the baby comes. So we're gonna have a deep conversation and that's gonna be her telling her parents about Andre because they need to know who their daughter. And I think they'll like him, like he's successful, he's really nice to her, but they don't even know him. So they're like, okay, you're pregnant, but like, who's the baby daddy? Shimmeray Jabin Slothic. Lazzle Pelka. Jabin. They're like, well, when do we get to meet him? And she's like, I don't know. I want to come by myself. God, the mama is flirty. She probably like, you go ahead and tell your brother and leave me and your dad alone. Because the mama's in a little flirty mood. And we just struggling. Our parents just happy. They planning the baby shower. They planning everything. Not realizing that we are not happy with this. Okay, we made it to our brother's house. And our niece is outside. But it's our brother's house. He don't live too far from our parents. But we need to knock on the door. Oh, he's about to go in the pool. I know that's right. Let's knock on the door. We just gotta tell the whole world we pregnant. But it's really showing in this little sundress. It's hot. That's why we put on our hot clothes. But look at our super cute niece. Let me see. Let me pull this down. Let's do family introductions. Okay. This is our niece, Erin. She's a toddler. This is Alex. Alex is our brother's wife. Well, not wife, because I think her last name is still Henry. So this is our brother's girlfriend slash maybe they're engaged. I don't remember. And outside in the pool, getting his little pool, little swim on. This is our brother Miles. Okay, this is Miles, our brother. He's an adult. Him and Alex are both an adult. They have one child. They live in this lovely, lovely home. So we're going to just say hi to our niece first because we love being an auntie. But not so much ready for the mom part yet. So let's hug our niece. They're really close, her and her niece. Okay. Uh -huh. Now we're just talking to Alex. 
just you know saying hi we're not gonna tell her we're not gonna tell alex first because we're gonna tell our brother first you know but okay so they are engaged let's congratulate them on their engagement so he did pop the question Oh. Very nice. Okay, so let's go and say hi to our brother. And we need him to get out the pool so we can tell him what's tea. Like, tell him what's going on. You know, she's not telling him that she's pregnant. You can definitely see. So, I don't know. I don't know how they're not acknowledging that she's pregnant. Aspen. Oh, Bellino. Oh, Arabe. Let's just let's just rip the bandaid off and just tell him right away. New Yapsa soon neb. Ooh, Whoa. Thurbis. Yep, 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 yep. Uh -huh. <laughs> Everybody's so excited, but her. Ah, <laughs> this little animation is cute though. Garsha. Sark. Then she tell him that she don't want it. So she get all she get them all geeked up. Ah, Bob Saint. Then she tell him she don't want it. Oh. Oh. Okay. What is this? So she's bathroom. Okay, so she's just gonna spend some time with them. And then honestly, I think she's ready to talk to Andre. So we're gonna go see Andre in a little bit after we leave our family's house. Okay, so it's 12.43 in the game. We spent the entire morning with our family. We told our mom, our dad, our brother. We ended up telling um, his fiance. So everybody knows that we're pregnant. But we're about to be second trimester in four hours and we are angry so i'm hoping that you know we're coming to see andre and i'm hoping that we can really seriously get somewhere in this unwanted pregnancy thing because something has got to freaking give okay so we're just gonna you know, say hi to him. And I will be controlling him because it just makes stuff easier when I control him when he's around. She's so angry, but they still are like, I won't say they're in love. That's been too soon. But they really do enjoy each other. He always missing work. He's always, he ain't got no vacation days. He needs to get that together. She's so mad. And look at her bump. It's just getting bigger and bigger by the minute. Let's sit and chat here. Oh, <laughs> no. Okay, so Jessica just texted us, and you know we're famous now, so people be doing this. Someone's been asking how to, how, what? Has been asking to meet you. Can I give them your number? Sure, we don't, we don't have time for that kind of stuff right now. Okay, so. We're here. We're about to talk. I think he's gonna ask her, like, how has she been feeling, you know. Stuff like that. Just checking in on her because he really wants her to be okay. Like, he wants her to be okay. So let's see. He knows this is baby. We're not doing no paternity testing. We're going to, we're going to try to reassure about pregnancy. See how that works. Let's see how she takes it. Once again, his view is insane, but we're gonna ignore that. 
Seam. Larkham. Slick Sansy. Look, he's so comforting. On Duma. Zonksko. Oh. Girl, he's trying to help. You need to be nice. I don't see no lit. Job. Nidfa Pathan. Skuma Plonide. <laughs> Nilzia Cruz. She is hungry though. Let's see. He she yelling at him and he is just so calm about it. Wimp. It's like, girl, it's gonna be okay. Yibs yibs. Funcilia dress. <laughs> Mip and growl meat. Ah, uh, meat. Hmm. Mm hmm. Let's see what we should do. Maybe we should. Shit. Maybe she's like, let's just go to counseling for it because nothing's working. You know what I'm saying? Nothing's working for her. Miss her. Alfonso or And maybe they, maybe they just need counseling. And he's like, let's go. I don't like that you go right away, but they're about to go to counseling. It didn't do. No, Dante. It didn't really help. Oh, it didn't help, but we're gonna have to do another session. I'm almost positive. Look, she's like, this is worthless. Let's see. No, I don't know what to do. Okay, so let's see what his mullets are. So counseling helped him, but it's not really about him because he's not the one that's unhappy. But I'm going to have him cook for her because once again, she's pregnant, so he needs to be taking care of her. I'm going to have him cook for her and hopefully she can work on her book to get her mind off of the pregnancy. So let's cook custom food. He's just gonna make, oh, we could do a smoked salmon sandwich. So he's gonna cook and I'm gonna have her just come work on her book. I don't know. We got stuff to figure out. Why is Aaron Beauty calling us? Oh, I don't care. Oh, she's going right here to do it. She's writing her book at the desktop. No. Which is fine. Joba. <laughs> okay, so Hello. Okay, so I have some good news. We just entered our second trimester. And girl, look at the belly on Miss Thang. Look at her belly. She's definitely pregnant now. <laughs> but we have some good news. So, you know, first trimester, she did not want the baby. We didn't know what was happening. We didn't know what was going to make it be okay. But they did a little bit more talking. And by the time she hit second trimester, look, it says second trimester pregnancy. It says, as the baby grows within her, Elise is preparing for all that this newcomer will entail. Being a parent to a new baby isn't super, isn't super exciting to her, but it doesn't sound bad either. So, it seems like she's coming to terms with the fact that she's having a baby. But, um, where's Andre? And now that, and here's Andre, he then made us some food and he's doing his yoga. But we're about to go eat because we're hungry. Oh, wait, it says Elise is now on her second trimester and she'll schedule her next prenatal visit. So we need to go ahead and go get our visit. 
And honestly, Andre needs to feed his dog. My poor baby. Wait, is he sick? No. He needs to come feed his dog. His dog looks helpless. Tense. Oh. Dag Dag, Jermise. Okay. Okay. Andre's about to come and see her belly, and he hasn't seen it since she reached second trimester. So I think he wants to be like, Can I feel it? You know, he's still nervous. He doesn't know that she's accepted the pregnancy. He doesn't know that yet. So he's still a little nervous. Like, what is she going to say? You know, he doesn't know. Vitessa Yishirao? Yips? Rainick. Oh. This is what I've been waiting for. Them to be happy and to be in love. This is cute. <laughs> He's about to give her a kiss because remember, he was excited to have a baby. So he is like, I think he's falling like more, like he's falling in love with her because she's having his baby, which, you know, it can happen. So he's just like super happy that she's here. But they do need to discuss what to do because the baby is coming sooner and sooner. They need to discuss what's about to happen. There's still a lot to do. Like, is she going to move in with him? Is he going to move in with her? Like, what are they going to do? I don't see no trait either with him and the baby. I don't see why he doesn't have no type of, you know, buff or nothing. Let's see. Romance. They need to organize to provide for Rob sure. Smazy. Wasani Shiraji. Narfa. Fazu whiffed in a bay. Good Draga. Oh, she having coffee. He needs to stop her. He don't even care. I feel like he don't even know that they're not supposed to have coffee. You know what I'm saying? But he definitely needs to go ahead and take it to the next step. He's ready to, to make her his girlfriend. He's not going nowhere. You know, they have a child together now. Yibs. <laughs> so. Uh, yibs. <laughs> not a boyfriend girlfriend. Wimp, no. Who's calling her? Her Norwood Grob. <laughs> Both oh. reach. Yeah, through ya. But here at Turinge. For no bay. Not in a relationship. <laughs> and at least she doesn't have to worry because I think she also worried about the fact of, you know, we not even like in a relationship. But things is looking up. Things is looking up. I told y'all our goal this episode was to get her to be okay with the pregnancy. And it just kind of happened, you know? She's still not, like, happy she's having a baby, but she's, like, okay. You know what I'm saying? She's okay that she's having a baby. So. Oh, we do need to discuss her meeting our parents. Let's see, where'd that go? Then to discuss me and our parents. Ebony Flurva. Viva Deso. Viva Deso, you're no Varo. Oh, Chibi. OMG. Carzini Sacco Girl, how's that going to be smitten? <laughs> yibs, yibs. Funcilia dress. <laughs> but they so do have this person to it. <laughs> From Smart. when she wasn't happy so about the baby. Quink, Kuzip. Uh, Plevar. Whoa. Oh, Naba Quink. Befite Pelka. So, yeah. Kumiao Bush. I think a lot happened in this episode. So, honestly, I think I'm going to end it right here. I'm just going to see if they can do that cute little pregnancy cuddle.
thing. I don't think so because it's not a couch. And if I got to buy them a couch so that they could do it, trust me, baby. I'll be buying them a couch. Okay, so I'm going to end the episode here. A lot happened this episode. We went to our first ultrasound. We told our parents. We're finally coming around to the idea of having a baby, which is so happy because I want, I want her to enjoy like the baby shower and different stuff like that. I don't want her to be sad, you know? So things are coming around and yeah, a little announcement. Don't forget that tomorrow, well, by the time this comes out, yes, it will be Tuesday. So Wednesday is the last day to enter into the growing together giveaway on Thursday. On Thursday's video, I will be announcing the winner and I'm so excited. I'm so grateful that we are at 830 subscribers when i started this giveaway i was at 750 and we're just growing you guys i'm just so grateful i'm glad you guys love my content um i did want to share with you guys that i will be doing a new uploading schedule semi so tuesdays will be a life with the least thursdays will be the high school years and then saturdays I, I will be bringing back 20-somethings because I did give everybody in that save a makeover. So, that's tea right there. So, Saturdays will now be 20 something Season 2 will be premiering this Saturday. I'm very excited. But, yeah. I'm going to stop rambling. Um, Next episode, I think... Oh, shoot. Next episode, I think Andre has something special planned for our girl. So yeah, I'm gonna just I'm gonna just end it here and see you guys next time. Love you. Bye.